Yes. Well, I am satisfied with uh, uh, the way I managed to, to win in straight sets today. Uh, it was a real test. Uh, Borna has a very similar uh, style of the game, like myself, and um, he had a great run in Indian Wells in Miami, so obviously coming off with a lot of confidence from those couple of tournaments and uh, I could see him coming into the court uh, really believing that he can uh, you know he can win the match and uh, it's how he played and it was it was a real battle it was a real battle uh, uh, I, I thought I mean I, I could have won the match earlier uh, definitely but you know uh, it was uh, it was great to, to deal with this kind of emotions again I mean I haven't played too many matches in the last <clears throat> Nine ten months, and I'm obviously lacking that match play. Uh, but today's match, from that perspective, was perfect. You know, uh, to to affect me mentally and in a positive way. The next two matches, you obviously Dominic team and then possibly Rafael Nadal. Is that what you want at this stage, or would you prefer to have not easier opponents, but slightly more comfortable route? Well, I mean, look, the matches are going to get only tougher. I mean, I, I'm going to just think about Dominic. Uh, it's disrespectful towards Dominic and Dominic's tennis, you know, and quality of his tennis, especially on clay, to think about and talk about potentially match up with Nadal. I mean, uh, last year in Roland Garros, he beat me in straight sets, and he's tep definitely top three player. Um, on the in, in the world and uh, on clay, uh, and he's one of the best players in general. Uh, coming off from an injury himself as well, a little bit that he missed Miami, but um, you know he came came back yesterday. I think match point down and uh, had a had a tough one himself. Uh, but as I said, you know he's a, he's a clay court specialist. He's someone that has a very powerful game and ha can play from inside of the court, back of the court, spin the ball, flatten it. You know, hit a 220 kilometers per hour serve, and then have an equally uh, effective kick serve. So he's got it all. I mean, he's got an entire game for uh, for clay, and uh, so I got to think only about that and whether the draw is favorable or not. I mean, it's it's uh, not the best of draws, but again, it it is it is what it is, and it's not the first time I have to. Face in you know, earlier rounds, you know, some top players, and I look forward to it. Well, like you're still in the zone mentally today, despite the match points coming in mm. and going. Have you changed your, your approach at all of this period? You're going through whether any switch that made you back in the world? Well, look, you know, I mean, I think we are all uh, striving as professional tennis players. And individual athletes, especially when you're by yourself competing and on the court, to, to be in that zone, to be focused and not give too many, um, too much energy away, you know. Uh, frustrations are, I mean, obviously part of the sport. Um, uh, I have been accustomed to those <laughs> more than a few times in my, in my career, but uh, I've also, you know, also had. Um, some some incredible comebacks as well and I think the amount of matches that I've played in my life and, and the experience that um, <clears throat> I've gained over the years helps me to you know try to hold my composure in, in these moments and uh, it's not always the case I mean you get emotional sometimes you get carried away but you know important thing is to bounce back important thing is to, to stay out there and, and really give your best because in the end of the day um, there is nothing to regret for uh, if you give your best and if you know that you've done everything you can. So uh, if the player is better, you just shake his hand. <coughs> no, I know these are early days, but do you believe that you can get back to where you were, that you can be world number one again, that you can win Grand mm. Slams? Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you and competing in this tournament if I didn't believe that I can do that. And if my intentions are not like that, so I mean, I definitely want to, and always wanted to, and uh, being in that position already and having achieved so much, just uh, 
you know, gives me enough reason to believe that I can make it again. And uh, I know that uh, uh, I'm not 20 anymore. You know, it's 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 different now, but um, I still feel like I have a lot of juice in my legs, and I can um, that I can play really well and compete. I mean, there's a new generation of players coming up. I've played against one of them today. Uh, and it's great for tennis. I mean, eventually it had to come. I mean, we, we talked about it for so many years, the, you know, the big big four and whether, you know, anyone else will win a slam or not. And, uh, you know, I mean, eventually it's going gonna, it's gonna to come. And, and um, I, I just hope that, I, that, that I'll, be, I'll be healthy. You know, that's, that's the most important thing because uh, I know when I'm healthy, when I'm not dealing with any significant injury that can um, disturb me on uh, on the way to you know compete and train, then I can I can really you know reach that desired level. Uh, no, there was a theory I saw going around that you've taken some weight off the racket to to lighten the load on your elbow. Is there anything in that? Yes, I've changed the racket uh, earlier this year. I mean, change the model is the same. I've made some uh, uh, adjustments, so to say. I made some small, you know, minor changes that actually, in our world, are quite significant. Yeah. Um, but uh, I felt, <clears throat> and also Agassi and Radek, who worked with me at that time, felt that that was a good call um, for big picture. And for a long run, so I, uh, you know, I, I feel more comfortable with the racket as I as I go along. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time. I think Roger some years ago also had uh, that racket change, and it took him a little bit, you know, some months to to get comfortable with it. But if you think about the big picture, if you think about certain parts of your game that you want to maybe improve, and uh, that maybe the technology, the racket can help you with that. Why not? I mean, it's it's a big. It was a big call. I, mean, I, I, I changed the. <coughs> I think back in 2009, I, I went from Wilson to Head, and uh, it took me. I think a year, a year and something to really find the right dimension, swing weight, balance, all these specifications uh, that were suitable to to my style of the game. I think only in 2010, um, second quarter of 2010, I, I started to play with the racket that I played with all the way till end of last year. So so I'm, I'm, I'm still with the same racket uh, as a whole, but uh, I do did make certain certain changes. Did you lose any power? Or Excuse me? Did you lose any power? Or? It, no, I actually, I mean, it feels like I gained more power, especially on the serve, and I gained more angle. And look, you know, it's... Uh, the racket is is the most important tool that we have, but uh, it's not more important than our body and our mind and, and our movements. And so it's it's it is it is a tool that that helps, but it doesn't play for you. Yes, congratulations! It was a nice match. Difficult to understand sometimes when you were serving uh, saving many break points with the serving very well. Then uh, when you had match points, nine match points, not so well. So is that more psychological? Imagine? Did you see my, my first serve stat on the match points? No, I didn't see that. Well, I made, not, I think, seven out of eight on the wide uh, advantage side when I had match points. I made all my first serves. Yeah, so? 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 <laughs> You're saying it's not so good. Well, I made no, all no, my I'm first serves. Well, he made his returns, and we got into the rally, and he made you know, he, he, he made me run, and from that side where where he was returning, there was a slight breeze kind of playing downhill, so he was making me run, and I was working twice as hard than on the other side, and got a little bit of tight, obviously, and it resulted with a break loss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it!